What's up guys, Philip Collin, Pack Pythons, and today we are not in the snake pit. We are at the future location for Pack Pythons. Super excited. This is the land that we are going to build our home on. Our home is beautiful, super stoked about that. And this is where the future building for Pack Pythons is going to go. And a few other Pack uh, operations will be operating out of the same building. Very cool stuff coming. So stay tuned uh but today we are going to go visit uh, visit my friend Kristen and her husband chris we are uh well we shared recently i shared recently on video that we lost our leopard mojave male and she reached out to me with a really cool offer very generous and i wanted to come out here and talk to her on the channel and talk about her plans and kind of see and share that experience and we can kind of stay tuned and plug them and see what, what she has going on in the future. Um, for the video today, I am gonna help her start her YouTube channel. Uh, she, when she reached out, we were joking back and forth about how she wanted to start a channel but she didn't know how to start it or whatever. So I'm gonna kind of give her some pointers. We're gonna talk a little bit and hopefully help her shoot her first video today and I'll have her post it before I post this video so that by the time you're seeing this, enjoy this video and then her links in, will be all in the description down below. Y'all go check her out, show her some love and uh, I plan in the future for us to work together. She breeds rodents and breeds ball pythons and I'm not sure what else, maybe some other stuff. Uh, I obviously we'll be doing the same thing i have a location to put the uh our building with uh, rats and ball pythons and a shop for other activities and then the house will be over here in the woods this place will be a lot easier to show off once some more construction is completed we're not there yet uh closing very soon and currently under contract but just got to come out here uh, survey the property and the owners happened to live next door very nice people and they came uh, the the husband came over and gave me a tour and showed me where everything was very very awesome so neat to be in the middle of nowhere and you never know what kind of you know riffraff you could end up moving around and to end up living right next to some really really nice people very fortunate for that so can't wait. April, March, April next year, we should be moving in to our big, beautiful, brand new home. And I can't freaking wait. But we'll keep y'all posted. And we'll, as we make progress, noticeable progress, we'll come back out and do more videos. So stay tuned. Let's jump over to Kristen's house, see what she's got going on. Okay, guys, here we are with Kristen. Hello, Kristen. Say hi. Hi. We're going to teach her how to be a YouTuber. Are you ready? <laughs> no, she's not ready. <laughs> this is terrifying. And uh, we're gonna get, remind me your name? Dakota. Dakota. Dakota is gonna record while I teach Kristen how to be a YouTuber. But, uh, so are you started? Mm, I am now. Okay, what's up guys? This is Kristen. <laughs> I'm Philip. Pack Pythons. Kristen, what's the name of your Reaper Royals. Reaper Royals. Cool. All right. So, uh, Kristen offered to, let me get the, get you in the shot here. <laughs> Kristen uh, saw that we lost our leopard Mojave male and mentioned that she had a leopard Mojave female mm -hmm. and that she would be willing to give us a hatchling from that clutch that she's hoping to produce here in the next six months or so. So, super generous. What she doesn't know is that I'm not going to take it from her. I'm going to buy it from her, but still super generous. Uh, anyways, uh, she's going to show me the female, yep. the leopard Mojave female, and we're going to check out a couple males that we might put her to. She told me I could pick. That's crazy. That's awesome. I mean, people are super, super generous. The stuff I've been going through, uh, people have been overwhelmingly generous. Really appreciate all the love, but... Uh, what we're doing is she's starting a YouTube channel. 
And just like everybody else that wants to start a YouTube channel, she doesn't know how to start because it's kind of terrifying and not everybody loves being in front of a camera, but uh, there's plenty of stuff to talk to or talk about uh, with ball pythons specifically. Mm -hmm. And they also produce their own rats and they breed chickens and all that other stuff. Um, but the key to a good channel is having something to focus on. So definitely want to, well, you can talk about chickens, but make a separate channel where you talk about chickens. Yeah, and there you go, exactly. Because <laughs> uh, uh, the key is uh, finding something that interests people and then uh, appealing to that interest. Yeah. So creating content that is compelling and interesting and uh, keeps their interest is gonna require you to focus your energy on one topic, right? Yeah. Uh, she also has brought up the fact that she doesn't have an intro video or some kind of, I'm guessing they're talking about like a graphic, right? Y'all are hoping to have oh, they some have kind of, right, they don't have it. I don't have it either. I didn't have it, I still don't have it. I might have it one day, probably won't. I, I, don't, I just like this freestyle version of just me and a camera hanging out. Uh, so don't worry if you wanna start a YouTube channel, don't worry about all that. If you don't have the right camera, you just have a phone or whatever, that's what I got, this is an iPhone. Uh, I'll upgrade it eventually, but you just need a camera and you know, 10, 15 minutes to talk to yourself. <laughs> and then and then you're good to go and show off a couple snakes in the middle of it and people love it so uh it's simple uh, it doesn't need to be so elaborate you don't need to wait till the time is right or until you have all the duckies in a row you know what i mean keep it simple so uh again uh say again kiss method oh kiss method keep it simple stupid yeah of course of course so uh what are we pulling out first the girl the girl does she have a name Hecatine. Spell that. Hecate. Hecate. Spell it. H E K A T E. A T E. And what does that mean? Or what is it? Greek goddess name. Oh, cool. All right. I've had a couple Greek goddess names in mind uh, Venus and uh, Athena. And there's some more. I can't remember. All of them are Greek. <laughs> nice. For... That's cool. She is beautiful. All the ones that are not. That is a leopard Mojave female. Really interesting thing about her is that my leopard Mojave male had uh, the eye stripes. Just behind the eye was like super blushed out and faded to nothing. So like how this has a, like the typical teardrop end of the eye band, my male had like faded out. I don't know what that was. Um, he was bred a few times before he passed, so hopefully uh, we do get some offspring from them, but I don't know what is going on in my season at this point. Uh, just with everything going on, I'm really hoping that uh, we get something else. But if I get nothing else, I just want to recover from our current situation. Uh, to speak about that, uh, I potentially have some illness in my colony. So out of respect for anyone that I would interact with, I did not mess with my animals at all today. Took a fresh shower, put on fresh clothes before I came over to visit. And uh, I think anyone that is going through anything, a lot of times I've found that some people don't like to talk about when they're dealing with sickness and stuff. And that's kind of why I feel like my videos have been uh, received very well because a lot of people don't talk about this. Um, but again, it is serious. It's something to be taken, not to be taken lightly, and uh, taking precaution to protect other people's animals and either other part, like how my animals are all separated, being careful about not transmitting potential disease or virus or whatever it is, is very, very important. So just wanted to mention that. So if anybody's thinking about me getting these people's animals sick, that's not the case. But she is gorgeous. And uh, there's several males that she could potentially be put to, right? Yes. Awesome. Let me see if we can get her right. Dump, dump, Excuse me. Sorry. Hey guys, how you doing? Look, look, look at Sorry. look at you. So now I'm gonna send you guys to go check out their channel, and then you can see yourself seeing you in the past. 
just it's going to open a wormhole in your computer and it's, it's going to be scary hold your hold your horses no. all right what we got over here she's looking they got a pretty good size collection uh like i said they breed ball pythons and just by chance like we didn't know this before we started communicating uh we're almost neighbors that land we were just at is like straight back this way very very cool uh, looking forward to having some neighbors that are into you know the cool stuff wow that is let me guess let me guess pie bulb yes black pastel pie black pastel pie super cool so this is pie bulb hit for panda pied <laughs> technically yes very cool so this is one option uh, so this to uh, that female would produce or could produce black pastel Mojave leopard head pies, mm -hmm. which would be phenomenal. That get a get a girl with that gene combination would be killer in my collection. So definitely, definitely uh, thinking this is probably the one we're gonna use to breed her to. I think that would be awesome. Uh, and what's his name? Uh, this is Chan. Sharon? Charon. Charon. Like the driver of the boat to the underworld in Greek mythology. Yes, that's a, very that's a really cool name. It sounds awesome. Um, what else you got? As far as the breeder males. Let's see at least um, one more. Um, I gotta get we gotta get this video over. How long how much time are you on? That's seven. the next that's the next thing we're gonna talk about. Alright, here we go. So your intro when you're doing a video, in the first minute, you want to tell people what you're gonna show them. First 30 seconds is ideal. So first 10 seconds, is just, you should be saying, hey, I'm so-and-so from such and such. This is my brand, this is who I am. And then you wanna tell people what you're doing and uh, what you plan to show them. And that was the intro I was talking about. Right, you do that every time. Every time, every time I make a video, I just do one shoot, and the beginning I say, What's up guys, Philip Collin Pack Pythons. And then I start to tell them what we're doing today, which I did before. And that's what we can do off to the side. Well, we, I mean, you, yeah, you could. You could definitely uh, add that to the beginning. We kind of did it vaguely, but if she feel, didn't talk a whole lot, I want to get her actually <laughs> talking about it. Yeah, sure. So again, now people are going to see themselves in the future from the past. It's just going to be crazy. My <laughs> We got some more snakes. What we got here? All right, so it's, this is two-headed snake. <laughs> oh no, it's just two snakes. I'm sorry. This one is. That's, that's some clickbait for you. Two-headed snake. Ah. Butter hypo. Butter hypo. I love ghosts. I have tons of it. I don't. I'm trying to think if I have any butter in my collection. Well, this would also make the bells with her. Yeah, the butter will. That's yeah. true. That's awesome. Oh yeah, because butter and Mojave. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then very, this very one cool. is a petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> Unknown. No, no it's no. six different genes. So Look at the speckling. That is beautiful. Is Let me get close to that. Super pastel. Wow. Leopard, spider, pastel. lesser, and a missing one. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Possible. That, possible. This is a male. Example, yes. That is gorgeous. Look at that. And the, so the also spider can produce bells. The spider, it, it's spider too, right? Yep. Yeah, the eyes. That is so cool. So we have one other that's breedable. Are breed ready? <laughs> Trying to find it. Yeah, the mm -hmm. uh, jigsaw. So uh, I talked about the intro, the yeah. first minute. It's right there. Jim. The it's the second one. The other thing to consider is that you want your content to try to be at least 10 minutes long. And the benefit to that is long term, like right now, I'm not monetized. I don't make anything to do this just for fun. But at some point, I could potentially get monetized. And uh, YouTube makes it a lot easier to add uh, ads into the video if you go past the 10 minute mark. So ideally, each video should be at least 10 minutes. And you want to keep it, I've found, I've had most success between 15 and 20 minute long videos. Those have been really, really well. 
done really well. Um, and that he is... He needs some weight. What is he? But this is no, a jigsaw. He's, he almost looks big enough. That's a jigsaw. So pinch stripe and... Mojave. Mojave. So also Bell. Also Bell. Cool. <laughs> I love Finn and I love Mojave. Uh, very cool. And he looks... Uh, how much does he weigh? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know. It's, I weighed him, what, two weeks ago, I think. And have I have you was. checked to see if he's he producing sperm plugs? So he's not big enough yet. Mm, he almost looks big enough. I've got a male that's that size that I've bred this season. <laughs> Uh, Cruz, I don't know if I, I've shown them off before, but anyway. Did you write down his weight? I took I take pictures. Okay, cool. Whatever Let's see. Let's see what he weighs. Uh, I've, the male that I talked about that I bred around four hundred fifty grams. He started producing he was, sperm plugs. Five thirty. Ding ding. So you check him, pop him, and see if he's producing sperm plugs. And if he is. Psh, Put them in there. And the first couple times, they typically don't know what they're doing. So they just kind of hang out. Mm -hmm. And then after three or four times, I've noticed that they sometimes, that's, <laughs> yeah, they start figuring it out. They end up getting underneath the female and doing, they start to kind of do the right things to where they could breed. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if he actually did flock with her. So we'll see. But maybe he did. Uh, that's my dinker project I was talking about earlier that I'm hoping I proved out, but maybe I didn't. We'll see. I don't know what this season's got going on, but anyways, so that's a couple random uh, tips of things that we could do to to start a YouTube channel. Start your YouTube channel. This is pretty good. This went pretty well, right? Yeah. You think so? Are you excited? <laughs> you don't. I think she's more nervous. <laughs> <You're excited. laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, I feel like this went great. You guys, if. If she posts this video, which she better, uh, <laughs> y'all go show her some love. I'm going to put her links down below. Mm -hmm. You know, go check her out. And it's her and her husband. And they've got another guy that they're partnered with on these uh, breeding projects. Very cool. Lots of content. Lots to talk about. Plenty of reason to make a YouTube channel. <laughs> and remind me again the name. Reaper Royals. Reaper Royals. Mm -hmm. Do you have a logo yet? I do. Man, she's all set up. T-shirts are she, T-shirts? I don't even have T-shirts. <laughs> I've got, I made some T-shirts, but not enough to sell or give away, whatever. But, well, okay. T-shirts coming for us. <laughs> cool. Yeah, well, that's what I did too. Okay, so we're in the same boat. Yeah. But, all right. Y'all go check Kristen out. That's it for today. Y'all take it easy. If it ain't easy, don't take it. Peace.